All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Beatrice. Thank you for joining us. Everyone, if you are tuning in, this is Beatrice. She is one of our in-person members here at Rogue, and she is our member of the month for August. Congratulations. A little round of applause for you. It's great to have you. Thanks for joining us. Um, so we have a couple questions for you uh, just to ask you to kind of get to know you a little bit better. But if you can kind of just let us know how many years you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's and how did you find out about Rogue? Okay, good morning all. Um, in August of 2023, I went on a vacation with my daughter, granddaughters, grandsons, everything. It was a lovely vacation in Hawaii. And she noticed that my right hand was shaking quite a lot. Her comment was, Mom, you must be dehydrated. So she kept pouring water into me and making sure that I was hydrated. Well, the vacation, it was hard on me. So when I came back, I started going all the round of doctors, you know, pulmonologists, yeah. uh, everything to do. Am I in tip top shape? And I ended up going to a neurologist last thing, Friday, uh, Friday afternoon. And he looks at me and he says, close your eyes and put your hands out. So I put my hands out and then he says, you got Parkinson's. My first reaction is, oh, no way. And he said, yes, you do. So he prescribed something and he said, you know, off the boat. And I'm driving home, I'm going, oh no, what now? Well, next day, it was a Saturday, and the Huntington Beach Senior Center had an exhibit. They call it Senior Saturday. And lo and behold, I came across Rome, and they had the word Parkinson's on it. So I picked up all the brochures, all the information, where they were, and I went home, and we started talking next week and I never went into a depression. I never got depressed, anxious, because I knew there was an answer and it was wrong. That's great. Yeah. And that you were able to find us the very next day. That's, that's amazing. Well, yeah. I made history at the senior center also, how effective the senior Saturdays were. Exactly. Yeah. So Nancy, Claire, and we all say that the senior center is where, where we find more of our members for sure. Yeah. yeah. You, you are a good luck charm. That's where it all started from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for sharing all that. How many, um, how many years have you been diagnosed with Parkinson's? Uh, uh, it's actually September 2022. 20, Okay. that I've been diagnosed and okay. I had my first evaluation in October of 2022 and then I have been in, coming here three times a week and yeah. I love it. That's great. We're so happy to have you. Um, my next question for you is what is one success that you've had in the past couple of months or in the past year? Well, of all things, yesterday I was uh, meeting a friend that I haven't seen for quite some time. And being seniors, we kind of talk of sometimes ailments. And I mentioned that I have Parkinson's. She said, yes, I know. And I held my hand out, and for just a, a slight little tremor, yeah. people don't notice it, don't see it yet. And my hands have come down, and I'm fine. That's great. Um, what would you say motivates you to exercise? What brings you to class all the time to hang out with us? <laughs> um, I like the giggles. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I think the motivation is that I, that I see a uh, decrease in my symptoms. Um, I feel well. I am taking control of my my disease, if you want to call yeah, it. Yeah. And not knowing anything about Parkinson's except some horror stories way back when uh, there is so much education going on 
there is so much meetings where knowledge is shared, we're taught, um, and I'm comfortable with being diagnosed with having Parkinson's because I know everybody is fighting to find a cure and to improve and enhance the quality of our life. And that's what I'm getting from Rome. That is great. That's great to hear too. Um, what are the classes that you're doing here at Rogue, Beatrice? Well, I started doing a high file, high, high yep. intensity, hip, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of our new classes, our high five class. Yes. I do cardio, I do coordination, tying on shoelaces, even uh, doing buttons up yeah. and down, and all life enhancing because it's all the things that I have to deal with and get dressed. Um, there isn't this, I'm taking four classes a week now. Um, my endurance has improved. I'm not so much half and puff as I was before. So that's an, an improvement. <laughs> yeah. And seeing how everybody that's in the class with you they encourage you that they the atmosphere here it is so positive there's nothing depressing there's nothing oh woe is me that's what i like the most we're yeah, all in so together good. we all share exactly we're a family here at rogue and you have other people to lean on you have the other members you have us yeah big support group for sure oh absolutely that is great and i just have to share since you started our new class our high Bye. you've been getting in the red zone you've been getting your heart rate up so much which is awesome because that was kind of a couple um, when you first started right getting your heart rate up was a little bit harder for you in the beginning and now we're really yes. always hanging out either in that blue zone green zone and then we're even getting up now into the red zone so that's amazing well the, the red zone is a good place to be it, it isn't <laughs> stop it's it's red go yeah red go yeah exactly i like yeah. that motto that's great <laughs> Uh, what would you say is one thing that you couldn't do before you started exercising and now you can do, Beatrice? I can go up hills. Go up hills. Uh, the hills were the biggest uh, problem yeah. that I was having. And now with doing the treadmills at the highest inclination, I feel much more comfortable doing that. That's great. Yeah. And your endurance has gotten so much better too. So yes, and I, you can go up multiple hills. <laughs> I'm going on a vacation that has a lot of hills and I'm not dreading it. I'm looking forward to it. That is amazing. Where are you going on vacation? Portugal. Oh, and awesome. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to send us a picture, a selfie of you on the top of the hill, a little picture for us so we can all see it. That is and so great. There's another thing that I would encourage people to do, especially if they are from Rogue. Yeah. Um, I have seen a couple of ladies with, obviously, tremors. And I approached them and I said, uh, do you mind if I ask you a question? And I will tell them that I have Parkinson's. And I will also tell them to come to Rogue. <laughs> if they're not doing anything physical for their maintenance. Yeah, we appreciate that. Yep, I always tell people that Beatrice is one of our big marketing ladies here. You <laughs> always spread the word for us. We appreciate it so much. Yeah, if we can have more people know about Rogue and then have it a quicker process from when they're diagnosed to coming into Rogue, just like how what happened to you, that that yeah. is great. So we, we appreciate you going around and spreading the good word. Well, uh, um, yeah. I got so much encouragement, information, and help when I was first diagnosed that, as I said, I never went into, into depression, nothing. It was just, I can control it. I can maintain, maintain yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. Maintain what you want to do with your life and control, kind of just take control of your life for sure and can take control of 
of this Parkinson's disease. That's great. Um, kind of um, segueing into that, do you have any other words of wisdom or any encouragement for people with Parkinson's? Um, can I say get off your duff and come here? Oh, yes, okay. you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just do it, right? Yes. Uh, the Nike logo is just do it. Yeah. That's what I would encourage everybody to do. Yeah, definitely. That is great. Is there anything else that you would like to add or anything that I haven't asked you that you want to talk about? Um, yes, I can mention that um, my children have seen the, the progression, the, the improvement, not progression, improvement. Mm -hmm. And they had offered, they have offered already that if I run out of money, they will pay for this. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes. That I mean, is great. Don't let money be a deterrent. So yeah. that's very encouraging. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. And to have that support system, because it is so important to have a good support um, system, have your family with you as you're going through Parkinson's. Well, my oldest granddaughter who studied to be a doctor. Uh, oh, wow. She, she's in New York, but she came here for a visit and she followed me into Rome. Yeah. And uh, she got the, the tour and then she watched everybody and her comment was, they're doing so good, and you're doing so good. Keep it up. So she, oh, <laughs> you got to encourage from a yeah, I yes, definitely. <laughs> and that should encourage you too as well, knowing that you're putting in all the work, you're doing everything right, and you're showing up every single week to work hard. So we appreciate oh. all of your hard work and your positive attitude and all the giggles in class. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we really appreciate you joining in for us and another just congratulations again for August member of the month. All right. Thank you very much. Yep, of course. See you later. Okay. Bye.